The effects range from lighting and bloom, um, screen lens flare effects, uh, particle systems that include stuff like fog, haze, steam, smoke, fire, explosions, blood, weapon effects, and a UI. We really wanted to generate the feeling of dread and darkness and even the kind of eerie creepiness in some of the, the hallways with shadowing. Um, a lot of what we try to do is generate more of a filmic experience and a cinematic experience for the player. We're all big fans of traditional filmmaking techniques, like grain, post-processing, a lot of glitchiness, which ties a lot of making the player feel uh, uneasy almost all the time. UI is user interface, and it's every way the user interacts with the game. So you have the what we call the front end, which are the menus that you see at the beginning of the game. And then when you get into the game, what's really particular in Dead Space, you also have all these dynamic interfaces within the environment. Prior to this game, a lot of UI lives you know, in screen space. All our game elements live in world but also function as approximations of fictional UI. It's not just there for the player, it's also there for the character in the game. One of the things that Ian was really pushing for was a very broken future, like where everything felt depleted. And so even though it's a very futuristic look at, um, at UI, we had to make sure that it felt a little broken. So everything was a little bit flickery and everything was a little bit more janky than most UI. The feeling that maybe at some point it might break down was important. The concept vraiment pour les interfaces uh, de, de Dead Space, c'est qu'on voulait avoir l'impression d'être dans le cerveau de Isaac. On voulait vraiment uh, se promener avec les neurones et tout ça. On voit un peu d'activité uh, d'activité électrique. And you see marker elements and like unitology code and messages in there. Et euh, au fur et à mesure qu'on avance dans le jeu, on se rend compte qu'en en fait, il y a quelque chose de très étrange qui se passe dans le cerveau d'Isaac. For dementia, there are various moments in the game. A lot of it plays into the mind of Isaac and his memory of Nicole um, and his guilt and the scarring that he had and his experience through the issue on Dead Space 1. Dead Space 1 and Extraction had some moments of dementia, so we wanted to really bring that up a notch and basically create something new, but also very immersive and something that kind of uh, has a, a real strong emotional and even psychological factor in the game. So for the process of creating dementia, uh, we first start out with doing a lot of concept art um, and study of ideas uh, based on experience. Starting out with concepts, we're able to experiment and try new ideas, um, doing prototypes and mock-ups to help build out variation so it's not the same effect all the time. Part of the inspiration came originally from um, 8 millimeter damaged film, black and white, a lot of grain, um, a lot of uh, you know light bleed, as well as any kind of um, artifacts, um, noise and dust and, and tears. Um, so we set out a lot of ideas into the UI initially from that, and that helped actually drive some of the uneasiness that we wanted the player to have throughout the whole game. What really pushed us into the direction that we went um, was basically uh, combining a lot of elements that we liked, building out layers of high quality bloom, blur, depth of field, camera shake, as well as like a particle glitch and, you know, basically texture on the screen which really helped build out the look and feel of the dimension. A few of the fun things we've updated for this game coming from Dead Space 1, the locator system is a lot cooler. It used to be that when you press the locator button, you'd see this line run through the floor. It used to always feel like it was just jaggy, but it never used to curve around corners. It now leads you to different things. Like it used to just take you to your objective. You can also go to the store or the nearest bench. It's, it's pretty cool. There was definitely an attempt to go for a very sophisticated look in Dead Space 2 compared to the other games that we've worked on. This was definitely a little bit more out of the box. I think this is a true attempt at being a leader at something. You know, we're making something that no one's ever seen before, and I'm really proud of it. Um, I think I can say that, yeah. I'm really proud of what we came up with.